Hey, how's it going bros? My name is Aaron. Welcome back to another video. I'm super excited to try these earbuds out, test them out for you guys. The Creative Outlier Gold True Wireless Earbuds. You guys insisted that I take a look at these and I agree that these look very interesting. It seems to take all the right boxes especially for its price point. I mean, 99 bucks US and you get things like APTX, AAC codec, Bluetooth 5.0, IPX5 water resistance. It's also got voice assistant support and USB-C charging. But check this out, guys. It says here on the box that it's got up to 39 hours of playtime with up to 14 hours of charge in the buds themselves. Kind of more than double of what you get with other True Wireless earbuds. I'm gonna crack this box open and to uh, make this video a little more interesting, I'm gonna benchmark this against the Sony WF-1000XM3 earbuds. Now, these cost 230 bucks, but we'll see how they stack up against each other in terms of uh, sound quality, voice microphone quality, and audio to video latency. This is gonna be very interesting, guys. Let's pop this box open. Let's get inside. Let's check under the hood. Whoops. <laughs> okay, this piece of paper, uh, it's about the Super X5 app. Okay, so I'll read that later. Oh. Oh. So we've got here the earbuds, the case, which opens this way, a USB type A to type C cable, some extra ear tips and some literature. So my first impression of its design is that, yeah, they do feel like a pair of $99 earbuds. Uh, they do not have the same uh, premium look and feel as the Sony XM3 earbuds. Even the quality of the plastics used here is a little different. However, I like the fact that these are IPX5 water resistant. So these may give you a little more assurance when you're working out with them. Okay, so I'm gonna pair these to my phone and we're gonna try its sound quality. Let's see how they compare to the Sony's. Okay, first of all, they are super loud. They could be louder than the Sony's, by the way. Probably around 25% louder. So if you want to use it at a gym where the background music's always so loud, no problems there. And it happens that they sound very good as well. They have this rich golden sound that sort of reminds me of the Marshall Major 2 Bluetooth headphones. A little bright and mellow at the same time with a heavy emphasis on the upper bass registers. So you hear a lot of detail in the upper bass registers. Uh, but here's the thing. The upper bass registers do not uh, exactly overpower the mids. They sort of bloom into the mids so that it enhances it, making it feel a little more rich and full body. They may not have the same crystal clarity and track separation as the Sony XM3 earbuds, but they still are very enjoyable to listen to, at least for me because I'm a bass head. So, you know, what can I say? Now I'm going to try their sound quality with the uh, Super X5 app. This app is supposed to give the earbuds a more uh, 3D surround audio feel, but you can only use uh, music stored in your phone for this app. Hmm. When listening to my music through this app, it certainly does feel like my sound is a little more, I would say spacious, I guess. Yeah, a little more airy. Okay. Now we're going to test the earbuds microphone quality. I'm going to put on some background noise and I'm going to record a memo on my phone. Now, 
I'm gonna do this for the Creative and the Sony. So at least there's a point of comparison, okay? Here it goes. All right, I've got some background noise going on there. Creatives. Record. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. All right, now the Sony's background noise. Record. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So as you can probably tell, both of these earbuds microphones cancel a lot of noise, such that you're barely able to hear any of that background noise at all. But for overall voice mic quality, I have got to give it to the Sony's. And here's why. The Creatives microphones, well, they make my voice sound more distant than the Sony's. So it feels like I'm speaking on speakerphone and I'm having my phone on the table, you know, that, that distant. Also, sometimes my voice fades out and then fades back in, which is kind of weird, but thankfully it does not happen that often. So I can safely say that yes, although the Creative's microphone quality may not be on the same level as the Sony's, but it is adequate, good enough for something that costs 99 US dollars. So now for the exciting part, we're going to test the Creative's audio to video latency on an iOS device and Android device, and we'll be comparing them against the Sony XM3 earbuds. And this is going to be a very interesting comparison because well, both of them support SBC and AAC codec, so I expect that they will have a similar, somewhat similar latency performance on an iOS device, but the Creatives also supports aptX codec, which the Sony's don't. So I expect that the Creatives will outperform the Sony's on an Android device, but who knows, I could be wrong, that's why we're gonna try. Okay guys, on the left side, we have the Creative Outlier Gold earbuds. On the right side, we have the Sony XM3 earbuds. The iOS device I'm using is the iPad 2018. Now, I'm going to play a game instead of playing a video to test the audio to video latency. And there's a very good reason for that. Video apps tend to automatically correct the audio to video latency so that it seems like there is no lag when actually the app is already correcting that lag for you. But this is not what we want. We want to see the actual audio to video lag. And this is only possible if we play a game. Okay. So to illustrate what no lag looks like, I'm going to play the game with the audio coming straight from the iPad. Okay. So this is what no lag sounds like. hear that? When the chicken jumps, there's a sound, as a, there's a boing sound and when it lands on a log or on the road, there's a sound effect as well. So everything is perfectly synced up and when it gets hit by a car, it's also very perfectly synced up. So there's no lag. It's not like the chicken landed and then the sound comes after. No. Let's try one time, give you a better idea. Okay, so this is what no lag sounds like now, the creative outlier gold. Hmm, 
That was actually pretty decent for AAC codec. Yeah, I thought that was pretty decent. I did expect there to be some lag because after all, this is still a C codec, but it's it certainly performed within my expectations of what AAC should be like on an iOS device. Now let's switch over to the Sony's. The Sony's. Hmm, yeah. Quite similar. Yep. So the Sony's are quite similar to the Creative if you use both of them on an iOS device. Now we'll switch over to an Android device and see if there are any differences. Okay bros, first I want to apologize for the flickering screen. The Android device I'm using here is the LG V40 ThinQ. First, the Creative Outlier Gold. Oh. I mean, I've made sure that it's running on aptx, but it's still giving me worse latency than AAC on iOS. So check this out guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm not too impressed by the Creative's AV latency using aptX on an Android device. It's not even as good as AAC codec on iOS. That's really sad. Okay, let's switch over to the Sony's. Hmm. Yeah. It seems a little tighter than the Creative, even though the Sony's are using AAC codec. But still not as tight as AAC on iOS. So now we have a somewhat clearer picture of where the creatives stand in terms of audio to video latency. It may have aptX, but that's just half of the equation. Just as important as how the Bluetooth SoC was implemented in these earbuds. And it appears that the way it was implemented does not really allow for lower latency gaming performance. So what do I think of the Creative Outlier Gold? I think these are some really good earbuds for its price. I mean, it sounded really good. I was very surprised, even a little taken aback by how similar they sounded to uh, my favorite Marshall headphones. I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but they fit pretty well in my ears. They have this ergonomic shape to it so that uh, it sits very well in the crunch of my ear and they isolate noise very well too pretty decent and it's got a really good battery life at least on paper up to 14 hours of charge in the buds themselves an extra 25 hours of juice in the case 
So that's way above the market average of four to six hours per charge in the buds. So this means that you don't have to charge the earbuds as often as you need to with other earbuds. IPX5 water resistant, what more can I say? USB-C charging, reversible connector. So yeah, this, this is a really good pair of earbuds for the price of 99 US dollars. However, there are also some things that I would like to see uh, in a improved version of the Outlier Gold in future. For example, I feel that the control buttons are a little too stiff and they are located a little too close to my ear canal. So whenever I'm uh, trying to perform a control, I end up uh, having to squeeze the earbud into my ear canal, which is a little uncomfortable. Also, I would like to see some improvement to its voice mic. It's pretty decent. You can make voice calls with it, but if they can imp implement some form of beam forming technology into the earbuds, uh, maybe put in an extra set of microphones, that could probably help to, to uh, uh, improve the quality of the voice mic for voice calls. And because they isolate the noise pretty well, I hope that Creative will implement some sort of ambient sound pass-through feature in a future version of the Outlier Go. So guys, thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please punch that like button with a vengeance, and share this video with your friends, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and remember to ring the bell to join my notification squad, because I upload new videos every single week. And this is the only way that YouTube will notify you. So stay tuned for new videos by subscribing, ringing the bell, and I'll see you again in the next one.